First verse of the Quran to be revealed of Surah Iqra or Surah Alaq, chapter 96, verse number one and two, which says, Iqra bismi rabbika lazi khalaq. Khalaq al insana min alaq. Read, recite, proclaim in the name of thy Lord who has created. Who has created the human beings from something which clings a leech like substance. So Professor Keith Moore said, I don't know whether the human beings, the embryo, embryology means it's the study of the development of the human being, the early stages of human being in the womb of the mother, for those who don't know. He said that I do not know whether the initial stages of the embryo, that's the initial stages of human being, it looks like a leech or not. So he went in his laboratory and under a very powerful microscope observed the early stages of the embryo and compared it with the photograph of a leech. And he was astonished at the striking resemblance. And Professor Keith Moore said that this information in the Quran cannot come from human source. The author of this Quran has to be Almighty God. And he said that he has no objection in agreeing that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the messenger of this God. Imagine Prophet Keith Moore being a Christian said that. The Quran mentions in no less than 11 different places that the human beings have been created from a nutfa. It's also mentioned in Surah Hajj, chapter 20, verse number 5, and Surah Mu'minun, chapter number 23, verse number 13, that the human beings have been created from nutfa, which means a minute quantity of liquid. What does the Quran mean that we have created the human beings from a minute quantity of liquid? The Quran also says in Surah Sajdah, chapter number 32, verse number 8, that we have created the human being from a quintessence. And we have created the human beings from solala. The Arabic word solala, besides meaning quintessence, it also means the best part of the whole. So besides the Quran saying we have created the human being from minute quantity of liquid, it also says we have created the human being from the best part of the whole. And today science tells us that only one spermatozoa out of the millions of sperms that are emitted is sufficient to fertilize the ova. Only one out of several millions. So this one out of several millions the Quran refers as nutfa minute quantity and solala, the best part of the whole. One out of several millions. The Quran further says in Surah Insan, chapter 76, verse number 2, we have created the human being from nutfatin amshaj, from a minute quantity of mingled fluids. Surah Insan says that both the male fluid and the female fluid, both are responsible for the birth of the baby. So minute quantity of mingled fluids.